there yeah. must be something that comes to your mind where the the regime has been criticized, but in a way that. If, for example, you take the, the, the actual president and you compare him to Hitler, mm. that example. that that would be your mm. That's your it. definition. We know what Hitler. Mm. We we know what Hitler mm. has mm. has done. Mm. We know what is mm. is I, even if you have something to criticize and to isn't it and isn't it isn't it there another way of giving that a that would be illegal to mm. do. This is another. I, I'm not talking about illegal, in illegal, but um, we are talking about something what happened, you see. Yes, I, I, isn't it another way to bring that message without taking a, a few go for Hitler there? And it, that's really, uh, it depends, that was, I was, uh, that's why I was saying it depends on the person who is reading and who is uh, interpreting, if I can use the, the word. But uh, the hatred message is a hatred message. I can really see how we can uh, but hatred is define. Often, eh? okay. Hatred is often in the eye of the beholder. I mean, we recently wrote a fairly robust editorial uh, urging the, the uh, electors of Saint Laurent not to vote for the liberal candidate in the recent by-election that was held yesterday. Mm -hmm. We received several letters from people accusing us of, of hate propaganda. Um, so, you know, yeah, hatred is a very difficult thing yeah, to define. Yeah. Well, on the other hand, we don't usually allow our readers in the letters to the editor to compare any of our politicians to Hitler. Uh, yes, which and we means, don't do it ourselves. We refrain from and that. And I don't think that, that serious, any, uh, any other country can allow that because well, I don't, we yes. don't it's, not, it's not against the law here. It's just, it, just we don't think it's good journalistic practice because we don't think it's fair. <laughs> but it's not against the law. And frankly, I prefer it to our way, to tell you the truth.